Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I have not been on an audition in so long. <gasps> oh! Hey, yeah, when he took me up on love, I try, I try to fight it, but I, I can't seem to get in. Okay, what's up, everybody? It's your girl Lex. Woo! We have a day. We have a day. Okay, so I'm almost done with my makeup. My lips still have powder on them. I have not done my lips yet. I'm going to say that to the end, but welcome back to another vlog. So today, <laughs> I'm sorry. Today is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. I got back from Greece a couple of weeks ago and um, a lot's been happening, a lot's been happening, but I got an email from my agent this morning at like 10 a.m. requesting me to come in for an audition. Okay, and I have not been in an audition in probably a year. So that is what we have going on. I literally need to leave my house in, oh my God. I need to leave my house the latest 4.30 p.m. It's 3.51 right now. And I'm also trying to vlog. So that's also gonna make me go a little bit slower, but it's okay. But let me show you guys this email really quick because I swear to God, I got this email at 10 o'clock this morning. Here's my email, 10.24, last minute in-person audition this evening. Hey ladies, blah, 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 blah. Um, the date, Tuesday time, 5 p.m. And then it gave us the location of the studio. The wardrobe is sexy in your own style, stilettos only. And then they gave the rehearsal dates, so. So I have been running around. I went to the mall. I wish I could have brought you guys with me when I went to the mall, but I was just doing a lot because I'm also leaving to Australia in two days. So today's Tuesday. I leave to Australia Thursday. So when I went to the mall, I was shopping for stuff that I needed for Australia and also a little bit of things for this audition. Let's start with the headshot and resume. Let's start with the headshot and resume because I have not had to print out a resume in a long time. So I did print one out. We figured it out. I had to call my good friend Dexter because I could not remember what was needed on like the header. So like on the resumes, on the top portion, it'll have like your name, agency, and then I have like my height, eye color, um, hair color, and uh, there we go. And then those kinds of details. And on the other side, it has like my contact information and stuff like that. My headshots. I don't know which headshot to choose. So I'm gonna show you guys right here because I printed them out myself here at home. These are not traditional headshots. Like traditional headshots are typically, you know, very just clean. You have your hair the way you like it, your makeup the way you like it. You're maybe, if you're a girl in LA you're prop or a woman about over 18, you're most likely wearing like a bodysuit or something like that shows your body, a heel, something very simple, but it's very, much focused on this and you're not doing too much. That's a traditional headshot that I usually think of. These photos that I have is um, photos that I took from a recent photo shoot that I did with my friend Joseph. And it's actually for a different project that I'm working on. And, but they're the only photos that I had because again, I cut my hair. I cut my hair. So all of my headshots are headshots of me with all the curly big Afro stuff. And that just wasn't gonna make any sense for me to pull up with this headshot of me with curly hair when I cut my hair off. What? So I printed these out. Again, they're not traditional headshots, but I think they kind of good. You can see the body, you can see the thighs, but see, these were more like artistic vibe. Again, I printed these out at home. So like this actually ended up being my favorite one that I was gonna use, but on this one, it messed up my name. So I couldn't use that one. And then on this one, it's just, my printer is struggling. You know, it takes a lot of ink to print out these kind of photos. Ah, girl. I gotta choose between this one and this one. This one, it's like, I, I like it because I'm somewhat looking at the camera. This one I feel like just eats because of the pose, but I'm not looking at the camera. You do see like my hair. You know, you can see my features. I just don't know. Is it a problem that I'm not looking at the camera? I don't have time for this. Okay, I think I might do this one. The reason I have to choose one right now is because I need to staple my resume to the back of it, which actually I don't have staples here. This is chaotic, this is chaotic. So what you do, you take this and then you staple this to the back so you could it will flip it. So when they're at the table, they can look at your headshot this way and then they can flip it and then look at your information when they wanna flip it. Either when you walk in, you'll put your headshot in with all of your information and, and you'll give it to them. 
and they'll use the headshots to call you out when they want to see you perform for whoever is on the panel of people auditioning you. Or sometimes they wait until they make a few rounds of cuts and then they'll ask for your headshots if you're one of the last few remaining type of thing. So there's many different ways. They might not even use the headshot. Like I might be going through all this stress and they don't even use it. But definitely better to have it than to not have it. Just You don't want to be that girl. I think right now I'm going to choose this one. Where I'm slightly, slightly looking at the camera. Okay. Let's talk outfits. <laughs> All right, so I'm in my bedroom. It's absolutely atrocious in here, so I cannot show you a thing. But um, the email for the audition said um, wardrobe, sexy in your own style, stilettos only. A lot of the times they'll say wear all black specifically, but they didn't put that in this email. However, I think I'm gonna just wear all black anyway because it's just easy, it's clean, and um, that's what I have the most of that is cohesive. This is literally a pile of all the black and like dancing type pieces that I have on deck for when I have auditions and stuff. Okay, we're starting. Okay, so I have. What I'm thinking to wear is I'm thinking I want to wear. Um, I have these like latexy type. Oh my god, girl, don't play me. Don't. Play. Okay, I have these like latexy type briefs. I know they look very tiny. I know. I know. And I'm thinking of wearing it with. Uh, like a latexy type bra. I have this from Dolls Kill. My issue with wearing this top, and it's, it's just like a very popular top that dancers have worn, I've seen. Because we get it, you know, it's like it's cool, it has an effect. So my thing with wearing this Dolls Kill piece is that if I wear it and somebody else wears it, it's gonna be so obvious that we're wearing the same thing and that's embarrassing. So I think I'm gonna not do that, just in case somebody else has the same genius idea to wear that doll skill top. I have this kind of like, see how it's like pleather? So I feel like it's like black, but it has some, you know, texture to it. So I'm thinking the briefs with like a bra and then heels. And underneath I might wear like, I might wear some tan fishnets, cause like with tan fishnets it kind of just sucks you in and it makes you feel nice and tight. Um, you know, so you don't feel so exposed. Cause again, these are very teensy tiny. So I'm gonna try on a couple of things and see how we're going because I do want to get out of here in 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I have not been on an audition in so long. <gasps> oh! Cover your eyes now if you're not trying to see no booty cheeks. Okay, so I just have this bikini top. I thought I was gonna wear those like latexy type briefs, but it was just giving two dominatrix. So I have these like, these are shorts and I put fishnets underneath it. So it's not, it's not giving entire booty cheek, but you get the vibe. I decided not to wear the um, nude colored fishnets because they didn't match my skin tone. Just looked a little weird, so that's fine. And then I just have this black bra and then I have this half turtleneck shawl thing. But this do-rag is gonna come off. It's just, I'm waiting for my hair to dry underneath. So if you can't see the vision yet, like, I get it, I get it. But it's there, it's coming, it's coming. I really went to the mall earlier because I needed accessories. I felt like, cause I don't have silver and I knew I wanted to wear silver. Oh my God, I bought these at Forever 21. <laughs> They're so cute. Yeah, so like I said, I don't really own silver. So I got these silver, I'll put these like silver. I don't know what they are, J-hoops. Okay, boom, a little something. Um, I have a lot of like ear. Oh my gosh, I would, sorry. I still have my do-rag on, so I'm gonna take a second before I put on my little ear cuffs on in the back. But I got these like silver rings, so I just hate that. <coughs> the security tabs on these are so intense. The rings are gonna just maybe not make the cut because the security tags, I can't get them off. Um, I do need to do a necklace though, so. I feel like this is too much. Is this too much? I don't like it. Next night on that. Um, I do have a couple rings here, actually, that, that work. Oh, I have a few rings in this little box. Yes. Bliss. I'm thinking I might just do the simple one because it's, I feel like it won't move that much when I dance. Like, it won't be that distracting. I do also have, I have this. Hmm, let me see. I don't know why this choker is starting to annoy me. Like, I'm not a, I mean, by choker, I mean this. I'm not a fan of mock necks. <sighs> it's okay. Just commit to it. It's on. It's on. It's fine. Okay. I think I might, I think I might do this. It's not going to move too much. It's not too tight. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, 
The only thing about it, like it's giving me, you know that picture of the rock when he has the turtleneck and then the chain on top and then some jeans? Like it's giving me that and I can't get out of my head and it's giving me that because of this like turtleneck situation. So do I lose the necklace or do I lose the turtleneck? I don't know. <laughs> I just can't right now. Okay, yep, so I changed. Um, I, I couldn't do the, once I said the, the image of the rock was in my head, I couldn't get it out. So I have these pantyhose. I just fucking cut. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me do this before. And I explained how I cut my pantyhose into a top. And so, yeah, and I actually think I'll feel more secure because I won't be worrying about my... Okay, yeah, I think I'll feel more secure, sorry, more secure anyway, because I won't be worrying about my boobs falling out of this like situation, so. It is giving a little bit like, I don't wanna say basic, but and I like that you can now see my neckline and this doesn't seem so obnoxious in my opinion now. And you just see body, bitch, you're getting body. Sorry for the cursing in this video. I literally have to go, it is 4.30. The studio luckily is like uh, a 10 minute drive from me, but I do still have to borrow their stapler because I don't have a stapler in my apartment that works to staple my resume to my headshot. I think this is the one I'm gonna go with because you can see my face. Again, these are not traditional headshots, so I'm making do with what I got because this is so last minute. I just cut my hair off like two weeks ago and I don't have new headshots, so. Okay, last thing I need to do, just pack my bag very quickly. I don't wanna forget anything. Headshot, heels, I have to decide if I'm gonna wear Thigh high boots with this outfit, which I think is most likely, or I have some calf, like Steve Madden boots, but I might just do the thigh high boots because I've danced in them so many times that I trust them. I answered my own question. Sorry, this is so chaotic, but you guys are just here on the journey with me. You're here with me. We're going on this audition together, okay? Deodorant is going in the bag. This is my little Target bag, I love it. Everyone always thinks it's a Telfar bag. I guess maybe Telfar came up with like a brown fur situation, or fake fur. But it's Target. Heels. I have my makeup bag. Axel wallet, keys. Taking a fan. Okay. Okay, where's my lip stuff? Found, this is not my pencil I like to use, but I found a NYX pencil and NYX works. Usually I like to use Charlotte Tilbury. So literally I just outline my lips and then I take any kind of like pinkish or clearish, nudish, whatever, lip gloss. This is Fenty. And then I just do that. And then it blends the harsh line so it's not you know, it makes it ombre just from blending it. Sunglasses, whatever, what else do I need? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I would say to always take extra clothes in your bag, but I don't, I'm not, I don't think it's that serious. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put the sweater on so no one sees all of my goodies while I'm on the way. Obviously, this is like in a, a professional audition, so I don't know if at all I'll be able to record in the actual audition itself, but like I'ma do what I can because also at the same time, girl, I wanna focus. I'm not trying to focus on like what angle I can get the camera on. I'm trying to hit the step. Okay, we're here for a reason and that is to book something or at least, honestly, actually I'ma run that back. We're there to do the best we can possibly do with what we got and I don't want any distractions. So I'ma see what I can or cannot show and we're gonna go from there, but yeah, let's get in that fucking car, let's go. Okay, so I'm almost there. Like I said, the audition's at 5 p.m. It says I'm gonna pull up to the studio at 4.58, um, which is in three minutes. And uh, the studio does have a parking lot, but I don't know how big of a call this is. I'm hoping it's a small call, one, because smaller calls are just more intimate and they can like see you a lot more easy. Um, but also because then there'll be spots in the parking lot. <laughs> um, I took my do-rag off and everything like looks okay. I definitely forgot to loosen it. Um, usually I'll loosen it like 30 minutes before I know I wanna take it off so that way I don't get a line here. But I have like, I don't think you can tell because it's starting to go away a little bit and I've been blurring it out with makeup. Like, is it gonna stay? I don't get, I don't know. I'm new to this lifestyle. Like I didn't know what I'm doing for real. Like I'm just, you know. But right now it looks good. I don't, I wanted to get on the camera now because once I find a parking spot and stop my car, I'm about to hop out this hoe and you know get it going 
Okay, I'm really nervous, but I was listening to, we do know the artists for the audition, um, so I was listening to all their music because I don't know which one they're gonna choose. She did just drop a new single, so maybe it's for the new single, um, but the audition is for an entire show, so we wouldn't, if I did get booked on the show, obviously we'd be doing more than one song. So I was just playing some of like her top hits, her most popular songs in the car, just so I can get reacquainted. Okay, we are in the parking lot. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh yeah, there's spots. Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah, there's spots here. Okay, so I'm here, I'm parked, I'm at the studio. It's 4.58, so I literally need to run in. I'm gonna let you know how it goes. I don't know if I'll be able to record, most likely not, but if anything, I'll get back on when I'm done. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. Okay, <laughs> you guys, it is currently um, eight o'clock. Let's see, yes, it is 8.07. Wow, okay, so I have a headache a little bit. I'm really, 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 really happy I went to the audition. Right now I'm in line for In-N-Out. I just need some comfort food. I just need a big Coca-Cola with the burger and the fries and I just want to sit on my couch and just not move for like an hour. Obviously, um, I got to the audition, I ran inside. I put my phone up for a few moments, but like I said, I was just really focused. And also since the call did request, you know, everyone to come in sexy attire, um, I didn't want to be having girls booty cheeks. <laughs> on the camera and everything so i wanted to respect everybody in the room but it was a really 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 great audition i just did like it was really it was really really great where do i begin so since i didn't get a chance to break it down earlier if you've never been um in a dance audition specifically like in la how it this one ran how it typically goes. So the audition I just went to, we walked in. They actually did not use our headshots. So this definitely was a case where I did all that stress and didn't need to stress. But it's better to be ready than not. So I'm, I'm not mad about it. We walked in. We were warming up. And we learned the first routine. And I say first routine because there was a second routine later, which that's not common. Um, we learned the first routine and it was more up-tempo. And it was really, really fun. It was like a live version of the music. Once we learned that first up-tempo routine, we, she split us up into groups of five, and then we did it in our groups of five. Once each group went, she made cuts. So I was in the very first group. I did it, I was in a group of five, and then she had to stand side by side and uh, while she deliberated with you know her team. And then she said, Alexis, can you stay? So-and-so, can you stay? Everybody else, thank you very much. So then everyone else leaves. And then she did that with all the groups until we were left with only the people that she chose to stay. Now there was like maybe 15, hmm, maybe 15 people, um, 20 maybe max, that were chosen now after that first cut. Now we learn a second routine, girl, a second routine. So I was really like mentally, I was like, okay, pull it together you got this this routine was longer it was harder and it required perfect technique like when I tell you it required perfect technique if you didn't have technique and by technique I mean technical training classical training something based in either ballet jazz or contemporary to help you get through this movement you are not gonna make it so <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a really great challenge like honestly I enjoyed how much of a challenge it was technically because I don't get to do a lot of auditions like that they're sexy and technical and hot and fun like are you kidding me so it was great 10 out of 10 combo was good it was long but I on it I got it I was eating them hoes up you know what I'm saying eating them hoes up like that's not even no shade, no tea. That was just how I felt. That's just that's just the term of expression. Like, you know, I was... And... 
anyways and once she kind of saw everybody that she wanted to see she recorded us on camera and then she let us go and she let us know that okay you'll be getting a call tonight or tomorrow if you know we want to use you so anyways that was the whole process of the day learned a routine made cuts learned a second routine picked her favorites put them on camera and then now we're finished so all in all it was about maybe two and a half uh, two and a half hours in total, which is not bad at all for an audition. My back hurts, my body hurts. Oh my gosh. Um. Hi, sorry, I thought this one was gonna go faster. Can I get the number two, please? Mm -hmm. Do you like onion on the burner? With onion. All right, and for your drink? A Coke, please. Coke, you got it. Anything else for your order today? That's all. Okay. Thank you. I was trying to cover her because I didn't know she wanted to be on the camera, y'all. I'm trying to respect people's privacy. Anyways, I really enjoyed the audition that went on today. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy that it was a great experience. Sometimes you go on auditions and they're not the best experience. It really depends on who's in the room cultivating the energy. And it, it's, so, it's such a big thing. So I really, really enjoyed it. Okay, usually I would have ate this in the car already, but my hands were so dirty because we did all this floor work. So I had to wait to get home. Um, so recap slash mukbang, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, the audition went great. I know I talked a lot when I was in the car. How do I do mukbangs? Cause I'm still so focused on the food, I can't even talk. After we finished the audition and everything and she let us go for the night, I did go up and talk to her, the choreographer that was running the audition. And I was just telling her, you know, thank you so much for the audition. Like I had a great time, you know, and, and she's like, wow, like what happened to you? Like you're so grown now, you look so great. And she's just telling me how good I look. And I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you. And so she told me that, she's like, wow, like you looked amazing. Like you were, you were killing it, you were killing it. And uh, I was like, wow, thank you so much. <laughs> Like I, I felt like I did a great job, but to hear the choreographer say that they also agree is very amazing. And she was, she looked at me, she like looked me, looked me up and down, and she's like, "You're so great, you're so talented." She said, "You know what? Um, like when I see you dancing with other dancers, like you look like you could be the artist." I was like, "Huh? What? What me the artist?" <laughs> she's like, "Yeah, like when." When you're dancing and and you're like and you're there, you give like artist energy. You don't give a you don't give backup dancer energy. And um, I was like, you know, I have been told that note once on a job, so I could totally get yeah, I totally get it. Um, Cause definitely like if you're a backup dancer, your job is to blend into the ambiance of whatever the set is, whatever the performance is. Like your job is never to outshine is never to outshine the artist. Rule number one, 48 laws of power, never outshine the master, okay? And when you're on a job as a dancer, you can't outshine the artist or, you know, the people up there. Anyways, so then when I was talking to this choreographer at the audition um, a few hours ago and she had made that comment, I was like, you know, I have gotten that before on a job. Like, you know, I, I, totally, I totally get what you're saying. And, and um, She's like, yeah, like, on, yeah, you give artists energy. Like, you're a fucking star. She's like, honestly, you should be that. Like, you should be doing that. And I was like, I am. I am. Um, I am working on music because, especially here on YouTube, I don't think I shared it here. I did drop my very first single, fun fact. My very first single last year in October around my birthday, it's called Savior. Go ahead and stream that. Um, I was really proud of the music, um, but, I didn't believe in myself at that time. I didn't believe in myself. And that's just, in a nutshell, that's why I didn't push it the way I should have. I didn't believe in myself. I was allowing inner thoughts to get in the way. I didn't know what to do. Like when it comes to dance, I'm super confident in like the choices that I make because I've been doing it for so long. But when it comes to music, at that time I was still building my confidence to like stand 10 toes on what I want to do regardless of what someone else thinks. Like when I, when I put out dance content, like, I know that I love it, so if I get hate, if I were to get hate comments or anything about it, like I wouldn't care because, bitch, I know that I love it. With the music stuff, when I at the time that I put that, at that first single, I knew that I loved the song, but I didn't have that self confidence and that self validation coming only from me to know that oh, if somebody were to make a comment, would I care? At that time, I would have cared if somebody you know didn't agree that it was a good piece of music so 
Anyways, all that to say that um, it, I thought it was just so funny she said that because I'm literally planning a rollout for my next single as we speak. I'm planning to release it like top of May. And um, so when she said that, I was like, oh my gosh, like I am making music. Like I definitely am doing that. I'm definitely doing that, more of that. And, but that did tell us, like, well, but also like I definitely still love to do dance jobs, especially a job like this with like a major artist with a major show. So, you know, if that is like a note from you in particular, like I could definitely pull it back. I can pull it back. And, and then she told me, she said, no, don't ever dim your light. And uh, anyways, I really appreciated that moment. I, I definitely, especially the past couple years, I've really just felt like I love being in my own lane and the things that are meant for me will come to me. And the opportunities that come before me, like for example, like this audition today was an opportunity that I could have chosen to just stay home and focus on packing because again, I'm going to Australia in a day and a half. I leave on Thursday. And, but I chose to kind of take the opportunity, take the experience, and obviously it was the right choice. I enjoyed the experience. It lifted me in a way that I didn't expect it to, just being able to be in a room full of amazing dancers and being able to like show my shit. And you know, just, and just like really like do my thing. Like it, I think I really needed that regardless of getting the job or not. I mean, living in LA, you have to have tough skin. You can't take anything personal and you have to trust that the things that are meant for you are gonna come for you. So, I mean, that's my little TED talk or whatever. <laughs> I did not mean to get all deep or anything like that. That's just honestly and truly how I feel in the moment. Go stream my debut single, Savior. I released it in October. I know I didn't really tell y'all here about it. I know, I know. I was a different, I was a different girl back then. I didn't have my hair cut. I didn't have, I, you know, I didn't have the zhuzh to really put myself out there like that, in that way, but go check out that uh, single titled Savior. I'm gonna put the link below down for you. Giving artists energy all 2024, baby. Um, I also have new music coming in April. So yeah, definitely hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to show you much, much more. And let me know what other content you wanna see from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, yeah, when he tucks me up on love I try, I try to fight it But I, I can't seem to get enough It's a dream, don't wake me up When you touch me, I give up Tell me how you want it, babe Put the pussy in a body